Hello everybody, this is Detecting Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and yesterday I picked up two boxes of pennies. And uh, I believe I uh, hear, hear Rob finds treasure sale all the time, he loves these. So don't I, I've already taken a look at um, these sides here, I didn't see anything. Uh, there was one on here, Let's see if I can find it. Of course, no I can't, uh, it actually looks quite copper. This is kind of cool, I can't see this penny here, um, as it's covered, and there is another one, I thought. Now this one here is actually green, and I'm wondering if that goes along with the uh, other ones I was finding a couple weeks ago there. Um, but there was another one here, right here. This one's covered up as well. So there's two of them here that I can't see at all. Maybe there's something exciting. I'm going to open this box first, and probably tomorrow night do this one. So, I'm going to crack these open, flip them over, and let you know if I find anything. Okay, everybody, I flipped over the box, and as you can see, this was the green one. It looks almost corrosion. It's not painted like the other one. Uh, it's 1960-something. I did see some 60s in here as well. I didn't check all the dates. But this one here is 1940-something, so we know at least have one wheat ender. There could be more, as I said. I didn't check all the dates. But I'm going to start here and keep going this way here. So on roll 18, we'll at least have one wheaty. And this, is, like I said, is 1960-something. Other than that... The box is a mystery. I'll be back with the first find. Before I actually crack open that first roll, I almost forgot to, um, as this, the, uh, where somebody gets the writing number wheats correct, they get the oldest wheaty in the box. And I didn't write down on the last one here is 20. Okay, so we have, um, guessing in this box how many wheaties I'll find is Armando from the vault with 12, Bubba's coins with 15. Then we have Ron's Just Digging for Life, 17. And I think that's Joster's Cards and Coins with 32. I would love to find 32. That would be awesome. Enrico's Hunt and Treasure with 20. Those last two there, I would love that total. Uh, 17 wouldn't be bad. 15 is probably about average. 12 would be a little low. But if any of you guys get the exact number of how many wheats I find in this box, you get the oldest one, including if it is a 1909S VDB. So... Did anybody get the right total? Let's find out. Be back with the first find. Okay, everybody, we're on roll number three and just got our first weedy. Let's take a look here. Take a look, see what we got. Oh, let me change screens here. Get my microscope. There we go. Close this up. And let's go ahead and adjust this so we can actually see what the heck we got here. There we go. And flip it over. We have ourselves a 1958D. All right, on to the next. Okay, everybody, we are on roll number five, and we are our second wheat penny of the box. And if you look over here, there's actually a Canadian, too. So pretty cool. Let's take a look. Let's see here. Looking a little older. Let's see what we got. And not much older, 1953 Denver. All right, on to the next. Okay, everybody, roll number seven, weedy number three. Let's take a look. Yeah, probably 40s or 50s. And we got a 1941 Philadelphia. All right, on to the next. Okay, everyone, roll number eight, and we have our fourth wheat penny of the box. And probably another more common date, maybe. Let's take a look. See what we got. Another 1941. That's two of them. So, 1941 right now is the oldest of the box. We have four. If we have, I believe it's eight more. Only eight more. Armando gets it. Let's take a look. On to the next. Okay, everyone. We're on roll number nine. And we have a very toasty looking one here. Very toasty. Could be a nice early date. Take a look at the back of this. This looks toasty. Let's take a look, see what we got. Ah, uh, shucks, not the oldest of the box, just 1952D. On to the next. Okay, buddy, I am officially freaking out right now, and uh, I had to really watch my language right there because I just found a first. And I am glad I said the oldest wheat penny of the box because this is not a wheat penny. I am hoping you guys can see it right there. I literally just almost lost my breath. This is my very first ever Indian head penny in a roll. I've heard so many people find these, and I never thought I would actually be one of them. 
Oh my goodness, this is so freaking cool. I don't see a mint mark on there or anything like that. But look at how beautiful that is. An IHP, finally. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Okay, reveal the date. Here we go. 1907. Look at that. The detail on this does not look bad at all. I cannot believe... Well, Liberty is gone, so I guess it's probably about a G4. I don't care. This is absolutely beautiful. An Indian head penny in a roll. That is awesome. My very first Indian head penny. Yeah, you can tell I am very excited. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Get on to this here because you guys are waiting to see who's going to win the oldest wheat penny of the box. On to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 13, and I just wanted to... This is just still so freaking cool. I can't believe that. I am unbelievable. Just so shocked. Um, we do have our next wheat penny, by the way. Not to take away from that, that is wheat penny number six. Um, let's take a look here. I don't know. This might have a... Might be a, might be a little older. Let's take a look. 1945. Not the oldest one yet. 1941 still holds it. Well, let's see how many more we get. On to the next. Okay, everybody, we're about to open rule 18, which we know is a, a wheat ender on there. And there is that lone Indian head petty sitting right there waiting to get viewed again in just a bit. Okay, everybody, the rule is open. Let's take a look, see what we got. We know it's a 1940-something. Is it the oldest in the box? 1944. Nope, just the most common. Okay, that is weedy number seven. And we're on roll 18. Well, just cracked it open. If we only five five more, Armando gets it. Let's see. Still on roll 18. And we got weedy number eight. Let's take a look. Okay, let's see what we got for a date. 1947 Denver. All right, on to the next. Okay, everybody, about to open up roll 23, which I believe is just a corroded penny, but we'll take a look here in just a minute. Be back once I open it. Okay, everybody, there it is. It's a green, I believe that's a 1960-something on this. Hopefully you can see it on here, because that just looks really crusty. I think you can make much out on that at all. Eh, we can see it's a memorial, so we'll just toss it back. On to the next. Okay, everybody's still on roll 23, and right behind that was actually another wheat penny. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. I was trying to look at the uh, the corroded one there. Looks like it's got a little bit of wear to it. Could be an older one. Does it beat 1941? It does not. 1950 Philadelphia. Well, we'll keep looking. On to the next. Show you. Oh, nah, I think that's post mint damage. Almost looked like it was doubled. Be back with the next find. Okay, everybody, roll 25. And we have our 10th wheat penny of the box. This one here has got a little bit of wear to it. But probably a more common date, I'm assuming. 1942. Old, missed the oldest in the box by one year. Oh, on to the next. Okay, everybody, we're at the halfway point of the box. And so far I have two 09s. There is seven Canadians. Ten wheat pennies. And yes, you're going to see it again. Look at that, 1907. I actually enlarged the screen so you can see an even bigger picture of it. Look at how beautiful that is. My goodness. I doubt I'll ever find another one, but this is just so, so awesome. Okay, I'll get on to the second half of the box and see what else we find. Okay, everybody, roll 26, and we have our 11th wheat penny of the box. Oh, I had to move that Indian head penny out of the way there. There we go, looking a little worn, probably a more modern date. Oh, a third, 1941 of the box. Seems like we just cannot get older than that yet. Let's keep looking. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 29, and we have weedy number 12. Let's take a look. And again, hard to say. 1942, again, jeez, just cannot seem to get uh, uh, below the 40s yet. Let's keep hoping, and if I find no more, that one of the 41s goes to Armando. And after him, we have Bubba's Coins with 15. So, if I, only if I find three more, Armando will be out, and Bubba gets it. So, we'll have to see. Right now, 
It's Armando's. Let's keep hunting. Okay, everybody, we have 15 rolls left. Still holding fast at 12. Armando still has it. Are we going to find any more? Let's find out. Okay, everybody, roll 36. And what we have here is the 13th weedy of the box. And there it is. And this one's looking fairly toasty, so it might, might finally break that 1941. Let's see, is it older? Whoa. No, it is not. It's a 1949 Denver. So, 1941, it still holds, and we're up to 13. We need two more to see if Bubba can win it. Armando from the vault, you have been eliminated. On to the next. Okay, guys. Guys, I'm officially freaking out right now. This, 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 this doesn't, doesn't happen here. Um, two. I found two. Two Indian head pennies in one box. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness. I already kind of glimpsed at the date. Um, it's from the 1800s. I saw that much. 1890. Two Indian heads from one box. This must have been uh, a coin dump. Uh, somebody dumped the wrong coins in a coin star or something. I have no clue. I've never found one before today. And I just found two in one box. This is absolutely, positively un freaking believable and uh if i didn't have a daughter and knew how to watch my language trust me there'd be a ton of curse words in here right now um so thank my daughter for that she keeps me in check um i don't see a mint mark on here either um <laughs> i think it was the 1908 1909 that I actually had mint marks i don't know why i keep on looking i guess i'm just freaking out that bad this is just unbelievable two indian head pennies in one freaking box i don't even know what to say. This is wow. Um, I don't ever. I didn't ever expect to find another one, but to find two in one box is just unbelievable. Uh, there they both are, right there, sitting there next to all the, the wheat pennies and the Canadians and the O nines. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna take a pause here for a minute and try to collect myself so I can finish this box. This is absolutely un freaking believable. Okay, everyone, we're on roll thirty nine in a. Practically had a heart attack. I saw this, and for a second, I thought it was another Indian. Uh, it's Canadian. 1964. Take a look at it. It's my first young head out of all these that I've found so far tonight. This is the 13th Canadian penny so far out of the box. Well, let's see what else we find. On to the next. Still on roll 39, and we have another wheat penny. Let's take a look. This one looks nice and worn. It's got a lot of wear to it. Could we finally get one older than 1941? Let's take a look. Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Our fourth 1941 of the box. 11 to go. And Bubba's Coins, I believe, needs one more to get one out of those four 1941s. Let's see. On to the next. Okay, everybody, just opened up roll number 40, and I'm not sure if you're able to see it back here, but right there is a wheat penny. That is wheat penny number 15. Again, looking old. Are we going to get one older than 1941? Let's take a look here. And we do. 1937 is now the oldest penny of the box. If we don't find any more, that 1937 goes to Bubba's Coins. If we find two more after that, then it goes to Ron just digging for life. Let's see. Ten rolls to go. Well, eleven really. On to the next. Still on roll number 40, and we just got our oldest Canadian of the box. Take a look at this. 1956. Another young head. Alright, on to the next. Okay, everybody, on roll 43, and right here we have weighty number 16. So, Bubba's Coins, you have been eliminated. This one is probably another one from the 40s. Let's take a look. Nope, a 1938 in really good condition. Let's take a look at that. Well, for a 1938, anyway, it's in really good condition. I wasn't expecting that. That is Weedy number 16. 
Up next on our list will be Ron just digging for life with 17. If we only find one more, he gets 1937. On to the next. Okay, everybody, roll 44, and we have Weedy number 17. Let's take a look. Got a little bit of wear to it, prior from the 40s. 1948. All right, right now, Ron digging for life has it if we find no more. After that, it'll be Rico's Hunting Treasure with 20, and then after that is Joester's Cards and Coins with 32. Let's see. On to the next. Okay, everyone, roll 45, and I am just seeing Indians everywhere, because every time I don't see a memorial or something or a wheat, I think I see an Indian. I just got a 67 bird scent. Oh, I love when that happens. There we go. 67 bird scent Canadian. Uh, not very commonly found, so an awesome, awesome find. Five rolls to go. 17 wheats. Let's see if there's any more. On to the next. Okay, guys. I wish there was a way I had recorded this live. This is just unbelievable. I haven't looked at the date yet. This is Indian Head Penny number three out of this box. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I really don't. This just doesn't make sense. Finding one in a lifetime is something, but... 1905, Indian Head Penny. Unfreaking believable. Oh my god, this video has been so long. I wanted to make this a quick video, and it's been anything but... Um, yeah. All three are sitting right there. Unbelievable, look at that. My third Indian Head Penny out of this box. I don't think I'll ever find another Indian Head Penny again, ever. But this box is definitely unbelievable. I'll be back with the uh, rest of this rule. You know what, I'm just going to... What the heck, why not? See if we can find anything here. I mean, how can I explain this box? Besides absolute epic. Absolute epic. Nothing that roll. We got three left. I'll be back uh, either with the wrap up or with the next find. Okay, everybody, this box is done. So we did find 17 wheat pennies. So, Ron, just digging for life. Please send me your uh, mail in address at detectingdaddy at gmail.com. And I will send you out the 1937. Something else I wanted to mention was, um, if you don't want the 1937, if you want, what I'm willing to do now is, you can go ahead and say, no, I don't want it. In the next box, you get two guesses. And that will only be for Ron, just digging for life. If he chooses to pass up the 1937. Totally your choice. If you want the 37, I'll mail it to you. No questions asked. Um... Going to try doing a wrap-up here in just a minute. It's going to be a lengthy one. Um, just still unbelievable. Three Indian head pennies. Uh, I did find 16 Canadians, and I found as many 09s as I did Indian head pennies. Unbelievable. Be back with the wrap-up in just a second. Okay, everybody. Uh, this is the wrap-up, and I'm going to do my best I can to go through this quickly. My phone is down to 5%. Yes, once again, I'm having phone issues. Um, so, to start it off. 1890, 1905, 1907, Indian Head Penny. Absolutely, positively unbelievable. Still can't believe it. Oldest Wheat Penny was in 1937. Then there was a 1938, four 1941s, two 1942s, a 44, 45, 47D, 48, 49D, 50, 52D, 53D, 58D. Canadians, also some really nice finds. Uh, a 56, a 64, both young heads. Then there's the 1967 bird scent, followed by a 70, a 74, 75, 76, 79, three 1981s, an 83, 84, 85, 86, 91. And then there was two uh, Type 2 2009s, both Philadelphia, and another Philadelphia 2009 Type 4. Uh, that brings a score of this total of 253 points. Uh, I don't have the other part here written out because I don't even know on my boxes with all the stuff. It moves so much stuff around. So I'm not even sure what box 
this is that I just hunted. I, my mind is just all over the place. Um, again, guys, just look at that. Three Indian head pennies in one box. Absolutely, positively, unfreaking believable. Uh, until next time, happy hunting. Uh, and run, just digging for life. Get back to me on what you want to do. Until next time, guys, happy hunting.